Well, hello there. I'm so glad that you were able to adjust to the time change. I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment, and I changed the time that we're together today um, for 3,000 different reasons, and I'll tell you why. Let me uh, arrange my phone so that I can see your comments. There. I'm glad you're here, that you found the way back. And uh, as you know, well, it's Friday, so this is the closing day of the Halloween uh, Harlequin pumpkin decor. So if you come in, I'd like for you to say hi in your best and friendliest manner. And I'd like to know where you're from, if that's possible. If you don't want me to know, that's okay. But um, I said there were 3,000 reasons why I needed to change this today. Uh, remember yesterday, we had such a bad si um, uh, my Wi-Fi signal that it kept, it kept interrupting. In fact, it's been doing it a couple of days. And so after talking to my friends, um, we decided that it was a possibility that at three o'clock when 3,000 workers get off out of the factory here, that they would be hitting their phones and looking at their messages and looking at all their calling everybody and answering everybody. And it's possible that that's slowing down the signal for all of us. So we're gonna test it out today and see if there is any difference. But for right now, I'd like to welcome you to the show. And uh, again, I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment. I teach fun art, not fine art. And uh, every week we have a different um, painting class uh, that I show you. And today I'm going to show you what we have planned for next week, which I think will be very interesting because you're getting into the gift giving season. Um, I teach uh, RVers all over the country um, painting classes. Uh, I teach at the uh, Family Motor Coach Association rallies to different manufacturer rallies, uh, to RV resorts and different resorts and private people and like that. So I'm really glad that you're here today and I wanna show you what our finished project was before we go any further. Well, before we go any further, I will say that Red Bay is really a very interesting place to visit and they are celebrating their 200th birthday on, well, they will celebrate it on September 21st uh, by having Founders Day. Now we've already been here for homecoming and now they're gonna have a parade for Founders Day. We're here at the best time of the city's history. And today I went to the museum and in case you don't know, this town is well known because it is where uh, Tammy Wynette is. Uh, there's a Tammy Wynette Memorial Highway. There's a Tammy Wynette part of the museum. Even her makeup case is there, but lots of really interesting memorabilia about Tammy Wynette and Stand By Your Man. If you don't remember her, you'll remember that song. So I'm glad you're here. And this is the finished project that we did this week before I show you. Uh, hey, Jean, Mom and I, are, Jane, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Mom. And um, so we went to the museum and there was, there because of their celebrating a very important part of Alabama's history, they have a lot of little kiosks that sh lead up to from the beginning of history. Uh, where uh, Neanderthal man was in Alabama to right now. So, and dinosaurs, everything, they were, they were here. So anyway, this is what our project looks like today. Now, 
Remember the Harlequin diamonds that uh, was not my favorite project? Yeah. Well, we've, we've put it in a dough bowl. Remember the wooden pumpkin that I painted? And on the other side, there's another design. And then I found these two uh, actually in Golden, Mississippi, Secret Place. These are the leaves that we painted the week before. And then I've added some little lights that I will turn on at night time. I don't know where the controller is, but they really look, and I, th I think I'll turn them on right now. That means everything will be upside down and look, how about that? Oh, I don't want them to do that. There. Oh, and they'll even do this. You know, lights are important. Okay, just set them down there for right now. So, anyway, that is last, that's the, this is the end of that project. Now, if you have any questions or any comments, I hope you'll make them. I'm going to, uh, I think I'll split the screen today. Um, no, I, w I don't want to do that. Uh, today, or what we're going to be doing next week, So, and I always do this so you can get your supplies if you want to, and go along with me because we're going to be doing it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we make our presentation on Friday, and then we... Um, will uh, go on to the next project for the fight for the next week does that sound fair to you yeah okay now what I'd like to do because I'm gonna get ready for some gift giving really so I want these to look really sharp I want some really nice gifts and I want to um, I want to start making first. I'm going to be do. I told you I didn't do little canvases. I told you I didn't do canvases, but I ran across these canvases and I thought, these are really nice. They're about two, so about four, and no, about three by 12, something like that. I've got a couple of those. I've got two of these the same size. Okay, and then I've got some that are a little bit larger. These are about a four by 15 or something. It, uh, no, excuse me, it does say four by 12. These are six by, I don't know but they're just exactly what I was looking for because I'd like to do a few Bible verses and one of them is I want to do some Psalms because I've been wanting to paint a sheep um, in a pasture. So what do you think of when you think of that? Everybody, raise your hands. I don't want everybody to answer at one time. Okay, but that's going to be one of them. Every one of these are gonna be different and so, if you're interested in following me, like I said, one is a 4x12, one is a, it's tucked in here under the canvas, is a 3x9. So see, they're small enough, they could go anywhere, and you'd be able to uh, use these. Now, if we have time, this is also one of my favorites. If I'm gonna do a canvas, which I don't like to do in the classes because we don't have anywhere to hang canvases. We do, but we just save that room for something else. These are the Master's Touch 8x10 black canvases that go on sale at where? Hobby Lobby, right, you got that right. So. Um, the Hobby Lobby um, black canvases are always reliable. I, I got these for a class I was going to be doing. See, these are 
$5.95 and they were on sale for 50% off at the time. But you know me, I had my coupon in just in case. But I have a whole bunch of these because I'm going to be using them for a class uh, doing acrylic pours. Uh, a beginner acrylic pours and this will be a perfect size for it but while I'm here on the road might as well do some painting and so next week these are already primed ready to roll so we'll be doing canvases does that sound okay with y'all good because that's what I think we'll be doing now um, some of the things that um, that I'll do on the canvases, you know, I, li I like the Bible verses, and I also like affirmations. Um, I like gratitude um, statements. And so if there are any that are your favorites, just keep in mind, kind of think about them. You know, something you'd like somebody to have from you, because these will be something somebody will be very proud to own promise pinky promise i promise you and so you want to um just think of something that you'd like to receive i've had these little sheep on my mind for months now we live in a place where there are a lot of cattle and i would do the cow in the pasture probably on one of them uh, but I haven't decided on the second one yet. So just be thinking about it because I know y'all have a very uh, good imagination about that. Hey, Blanche, I'm so glad you joined. Um, Blanche is my mother-in-law's name. And when I saw it, I thought, hey, Blanche. So I'm glad you're here. Uh, let me see. We're going to start this on Monday. Um, what I'll be using then are these already primed canvases. And that's important because you don't want to have to spend your time putting gesso on a canvas. But they mostly are now. You can get them at Michael's. Get whatever you can on sale. And on the black one, we'll be using, uh, of course, a light colored uh, lettering. On this one, I'm not sure, but I'll probably be using a Sharpie pen for lettering. Um, I have some gel pens, so I haven't decided on that now. Uh, so anyway, you'll just bring whatever acrylic um, paints that you want to use. And also just bring a couple of brushes that are easy for you to use. Nothing big. And if you want to use a lettering uh, brush, that'd be great too. I know. I thought about doing Toby. Um, <laughs> I think that would be a for those of you that don't know Toby is our kind of community horse near where we live and he comes over and eats a lot of carrots and apples we feed him healthy they're all organic so don't know how he's doing this year but if I were a cow in Florida I'd be looking for another state because it's been windy rain lots of rain and uh, they have had a uh, lot of issues with lightning. I don't want to be lightning in the middle of a field. So here we go. I'll give you one last chance to see um, what we are doing, uh, what we did last this week. Let me move over a little bit. Uh, this was the final um, picture of what we did. It all came together very well, don't you agree? So anyway, um, I'm glad that you're here. I'm trying to wait until I need 45 more seconds. Oh, that's the other thing. If you would do me a favor, I'm not allowed to say this word, but if you would S-H-A-R-E, it might increase uh, the number of people who listen to uh, my uh, Facebook Live. I'm gonna, I haven't cut off one time during this uh, live so I can only assume that there are 3,000 reasons why I didn't and I assume that they're all working until about 3 o'clock today I hope that you will have a great weekend 
it's a great day to have a great day so don't forget that keep a smile on your face and be the reason that someone laughs today maybe not at you but just have a have a fun time this weekend you guys are special awesome jane i really appreciate y'all looking today and i'll see you monday bye bye now